Okay. <laughs> We're back. I don't imagine testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay. I don't imagine the game saved during that moment. Maybe it did. I have John's lighter. Okay, the game did save. The game auto saved. So I don't have to have certain conversations with her again. Okay. Um. Yeah, I. I'm really worried right now. Because this is going to be hard to live. I stream. found what we need. John never lets go of this. This is perfect. I will leave this here. Now. Let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. I want you to picture every item in this place as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. Concentrate on this room and this room only. I just... I don't... Concentrate. I'm trying, but... Okay. Just because... I am actually, I'm gonna let the other stream go. That's gonna be 2A, this is gonna be 2B. I, if this is gonna keep happening, I do not want to keep restarting. So, <laughs> that's, that's the main thing. I do not want to have to go through all these conversations again. <sighs> okay. So, oh my god. Whoa, what's happening? What can you see? I can s concentrate on the- How the hell do I- You will with- John? Wait, Come really on, child. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real. But you can still interact with him, in a way. Sometimes that's what you do with these projections. Fill in the holes, you know? Other times... Okay, we've already seen this. I just wanted to get past this point. <laughs> this is... As much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. Use it well, and never be afraid of it. Damn, your stream is supposed to freeze Thank up you, when Rose. you're almost done. And as soon as you start... I really don't know what to do if this... Okay, you've mastered projection. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I can go now, right? We're just gonna go. Bye! I don't want to... Don't give me the worried look. No, what's that look? Don't give me that look! Talk to me, my dear. Let those nasty demons out. Alice left me, but it's good. I mean, I mean, she can be finally be happy. She's gone to her sisters. They're living their expensive McMansion. Ah, oh, Christ, I don't know how to be myself anymore. You know, the, the fat guy that eats the donuts and solves the case at the end of the day. Now I'm just going through the motions. But there are always demons that bite us and chew us and take our peace with the world away. But the human heart is big and noble. And yours is also kind and gentle. And it is in that strong heart of yours where you can always find yourself. There's this girl in the office. I was lucky to train her a couple of years back. Bright, smart, sharp, <laughs> kicks like a man, shoots better than any of the old farts in the station. Got it from her father. He was a captain of the BPD. Always made our lives easier. I knew her brother, too. Scott. Not made of the same stuff as Erica, but, but still a cool kid. Last month, we lost him to a piece-of-shit murderer. The things that life gives us, and the things that life takes from us, we have no control over those. We do with them what we can. Ah, bullshit! Scott should still be alive today. That kid didn't have to pay for our crap. He didn't deserve it, and neither did she. I was dumb to think I could pretend it was all fine. I guess it had to happen to her for it to hit me. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can tell you a thing or two about demons. How to face them, how to fight them. I've gotten people that have hit rock bottom to stand up firm and walk again. 
but this demon of yours, I cannot tell you what to do with it. That is up to you. I am sorry, my dear. So am I, so am I. Don't freeze. Don't you dare. I saw that stutter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, this game's gonna drive me insane. <laughs> uh, okay. So with that, we can now go to the crime scene. I'm going to assume. Um, so yeah. So this set, this <laughs> set two is gonna be, is obviously gonna be split up into more than one... <laughs> I don't know. Is it going to be? Am I literally going to have to go set? 2A, 2B, 2C, D, E. I hope not. But I got a feeling for this entirety of this game, this is the way things are going to have to go. Because. All right. So we have this, this. The question is, what else do we choose? Okay, let's back up for a bit. John, do I still have your lighter? Okay, uh, hope you don't mind. I'm just going to multi sets. <laughs> okay, so I'll see the spray can and the spray paint. Does it just always have to be three? No, this is not right. I need to choose the things that are related to what I want to see. What was important to what happened here last night? Okay. Can I... I have a, the thing. This thing. If I put it... Can I put it on the table? No? She can't even interact with the table. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's try this again. Pipes, the table? No, this is not right. Okay. I need to choose the things that are real. I know, we know. <laughs> I'm literally afraid to click Some cleaning thing. tools. Not important to the case. I was like, if I, if I try to like fast forward through some of the dialogue, is that going to get me dinked? Blood? Maybe the blood? The pipes go to other areas of the building. Noose. They left the noose here? Terrence is getting sloppy. Oh, I thought she was talking about the murder. They mean the... The... The crime scene investigation unit. But yeah, how did they leave the noose there? It's a very obvious item. Okay, this, this... The noose? No, this is... You know, strangely, it's not going red. They're like, it'll go red if you get it wrong. No, this is okay. not... I'm thinking right now that I don't have all the necessary items. I need an item from the killer themselves in order to be able to do this. So either... I'm thinking... Oh, not the antique shop, my bad. I'm thinking either we, like, uh need to finish this, um, this thing that we've got here. So we need the little mannequin part. I mean, I'm assuming that's it. Okay, but mostly, I want to see if I can give John his lighter back, because thanks, bud. Thank you for giving this to me. I've learned something new today. Okay, I have, to, I have to close up on John's desk. This is not going to work with this. You don't want to, you know, you're, you've done your training. You don't need to, you don't need the lighter anymore. Fine. Maybe I can't put it on the desk. I was hoping I could just- Those it. two don't work together. Okay. What is this? 
That won't work there. Oh, oh, this is her. John is this and also the case files. I was like, I thought I thought that was like pointing towards the case files, but apparently he is just everything. Um, all right. Maybe I need to do the projection of Davy's office. Say goodbye to your badge, Erica. Because it wouldn't let me, um... Right, because we, we can clearly see it's been shredded. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay, let's back out. Sorry, we can't do that in close the close-up mode. Let's back out. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's why Let's to... see if this works. Another one will be hanged tonight. When will you see the signs? I've left something for you at the post office on Milk Street. Maybe it'll open your eyes. Ask for Joey to help you. Oh, because we use because we learned projection, now we can actually use that skill without having to freak out. Okay. I get it. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I was, uh, I was distracted by something. I don't know. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys will know what it is. All right. So we need to head to Milk Street. And also, before I started part two of this set, I did, I did verify the cachet, but it didn't seem like anything was wrong. I don't know. I've read some other people saying that verifying didn't really do anything so who knows who knows what it is okay we got the post office where's my <laughs> there we go post office it took a while for the mouse to come in there's no way they're just gonna let me People actually still use regular mail. In the latest statistics the department got, email usage outnumbered snail mail 80 to 1. But that was still 177 billion pieces of mail sent. What can I say? I'm a dork for statistics. P.O. box? That wall's got all the post office boxes. Okay. Well, let's see. Statue, service window, window. Where the- do we have- I mean, I don't imagine we wrote this down, no. Do- I mean- do His I name tag says Joseph. Okay. Uh... Oh, sorry. I keep, like, in clicking away. I click again. Okay, let's talk to Joseph. See what the hell he's gonna get me. Hello there. I'm here to retrieve a package. Name, please. Davies. Madison Davies. One second. Oh, uh, do you have your ID with you? <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, there's no way they can just, we need the, our ID. Okay. Um, frankly, it's gonna look, it's gonna look a bit suspicious with us just walking away, but we're gonna do that. It's like, at least say, like, oh, I forgot my ID. Let me go get it. <laughs> All right, so... How am I doing this? I'm gonna see we need to... Print something off from Erica's desk. Is there anything we can use? Is there anything we can print off? I don't have anyone to search for right now. Yeah, see, this is very specifically towards... Unless it wants me to use the 
my badge. That is an option. Um, there shouldn't be anything more in Davy's office. What else is there? We can technically, I think I can go back to the crime scene and check it out. So I'm not quite sure where else we Accounting can. is up. Where, where else we can go? Should I try flashing my badge? My badge is not going to say Davies. And I don't think, I don't see why in the world the... to other places before going to the crime scene. I don't know, maybe it's just as simple as FBI, we're here to pick up a package <laughs> for our, my, my, uh, my director. Buddy? Yo! Any conversations? Nothing. Okay. See you later. Alligator! Yeah, okay, so try to the crime scene first, if not then we have to do the, um, Come on. But then we have to do the, the mail. Receive the mail. Now the question is, how far am I going to get? I'm going to assume I need the doll, or the, the antique toy, in order to be able to get farther within this crime scene. This was here last night, and oh. it looked fresh. Sorry, forgot. There we go. Okay, so technically we should be able to use it now, right? If, you, if your eyes... The killer left a message here. How can I look at it? The killer left a message. Okay. I'm not sure what's in this barrel, but it was here prior to the murder. Blood from the victim. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna help. Obviously the spray paint, noose pipes, nothing else here is really gonna help us. The stuff on this shelf has been gathering cobwebs for a while. Yeah, so I think this is this is what I was worried about. We're going to need an item from the killer. In this case, it's probably going to be the full completion of this. Partially assemble. So, because that's what the tutorial had us do. So I need to get that package. Now, it said the killer left a message. So that means someone else, someone else. I mean, the way she's saying it is that someone else had come and, um, and spray painted the message. Okay, so let's try, I mean, I don't see our ID working, honestly, but maybe is that simple? I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. I need that package. It may provide clues to an ongoing investigation. It was sent to my boss, and I'm here to retrieve it for her. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, it is that simple. I thought it was going to make me do a puzzle. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know who sent the package? The package? Yes, this package. Um, uh, no, there, there's no sender info. Are you sure? Uh, well, just that it's postmarked from another Boston office. Uh, sorry. If you find out anything else about it, please call this number. Uh, will do. <clears throat> uh, sorry, sorry, agent. <laughs> Erica, you scared the poor guy. He's just, he's just there doing his job. He's just, people want to their package. You don't need to uh, go get him at, at him like that. 
Can we not oh, over here? Sorry, my bad. There we go. Gonna open it up in front of you. Hmm. This must be important. And it is. You're not gonna show me? Huh? The key. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry, maybe it's the eye. These look like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? Oh my god, this is... Okay, I... What does this open? Does that open... A P.O. box? That wall's got all the post office boxes. No, okay. There's nothing here. Okay. So we have a key to... What? And the question is, what do I do with the scraps of paper? I'm gonna assume it wants me to head somewhere so I can very specifically put this together. Um, I don't know, am I putting this together at John's desk? Right, right now, I'm trying to think, where can the key go? We didn't have the key before, right? I was hoping it would be like another part of this this antique set here. Oh, okay. I have to use the hand. These look like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? My next She's She's my next victim. 6174. Okay. Hmm. This must be important. Wait. Me. <laughs> Erica, you know what it says. Oh my god. Okay, she's my next victim. 6174. Um, okay. What do I do with that, though? I'm gonna see- let's try to talk to John. I'm really at a loss of what exactly it wants us to do. I guess we have to- we can't talk to John, we have to like look closer at his desk to talk to him. This is not going to work with this. McCoy? Red? You want your lighter back? I found something interesting in Davy's office. <laughs> Reed, tell me you didn't sneak in there. Relax. Listen to this. Davy's got a fax yesterday. It mentioned someone was going to be hanged before the killing. So that's why she brought us in. The message also points to a package left in the post office for Davy's. Davy shredded the message. It must not have been fully shredded because later she pulled it and saved what was left. But why didn't she just mention this last night? She's walking on eggshells, and last time we cracked one, a lot went wrong. But we have a killer on the loose. She should have told us everything. You don't know everything that's happened around here, Red. Trust me on this, kiddo. I'm going to call her. I tried earlier. She didn't pick up. Okay. How's the case going? It's going. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together, go back to the crime scene, pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher, see what surfaces. How's the case going? Oh, it's just the same It's thing. going. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together, go back to the crime scene, pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher, see what surfaces. Okay. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. So this is the only thing that we can... The question is, what is this key for? And I can't think of anything that I need to use a key on. Um, okay, there's no point in us going to our desk. We can't use the computer for anything at the moment. Maybe until we need- until we got, like, a complete picture? Well, he gave us suggestions. Go back to the crime scene. Gallagher. Let's go ahead to the morgue since it's the closest one so far. <laughs> Maybe they have... I don't 
don't know, something? Hey, you know what this key might be for? <laughs> Terrence. Any, uh, suggestions? Buddy? Yo! There we go. I need to call James Bond. Biggie, you're the Bond, I'm the Q. What are your techie needs? At the crime scene, I found this graffiti that was recently painted. I want to see whatever it covered. I got just what you need. Take a look at this. Bada boom ding dang! Oh, we're using... Science tools. It works like an ultraviolet light. Only you can actually choose a color of light to cast and it'll see through that color revealing whatever's behind it. You know, like those hint books from those old PC adventure games. Oh, that sounds pretty neat. Not only that, you can also use it as a projector. Just plug it into your computer and transfer an image to it. You'll be able to project that image onto anything. What would I do without you? You'd be in a cave, crying yourself to sleep. Okay, so I thought this, I thought we had to use our abilities in order to read that graffiti, but no, we have science. Okay, I think this is just talking about- See you later. Alligator! That's just going to be about, oh, elevator, elevator, oh, now I can click the elevator. Sorry, the game didn't finish loading. Okay, some more things we can do at the crime scene. Gallagher may or may not have what information we may bring that may help them to help us. Also, 100%, I forgot to say, at the post office, the rever reverb was way too high. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Gallagher. Agent Reed. Nothing. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Can we... Nothing. Okay. You don't have anything from her. Do you have any tools here? A desk? Okay. I'm going to see... You know what? The only thing we can do at the moment is... I have a lot of items, but I do not know what to do with all these items. That's the main problem at the moment. I mean, is there a keyhole? Let me look at this thing again. It's from something called a... a Le Pondu? Okay, if I try to combine... Okay. I mean, okay, at least with the combination thing, it lets you know whether or not you can combine certain items. Which is great. Let's head out. Let's go back to the crime scene. Let's use our fancy new gadget to see what is written behind that paint. The spray paint. Alright. So let's bring out the new light gadget here. I don't think I'm doing this the right way. I need to calibrate it to what I need. Okay. Um. Hmm. The color is green. Number GK4893. GK4893. So... This sounds wicked cool. It can help see through colors and also can project images. Okay, but how do I, how do I, when zoomed in on the inventory item or scene area, you must exit this view before zooming in. Really? Okay, fine. <laughs> if you're going to be that picky about it. Oh, here. I need to enter some sort of code here. Okay. G, K, four, Eight. Can we just go down? No, we can't. We can only go up. GK four eight nine oh eight.
GK4893, right? Okay, so let's try this again. If your eyes could see, if your mind... eyes could see what mine can't, what does that mean? Hmm. Okay, uh, what, what else do we got here? This, we can't do anything more with this. We don't know what the numbers pertain to yet. Uh, okay. I need to enter. I mean, cool and all, but like, what in the world? Oh, thank you. I hope I'm saying Aisha. <laughs> I really hope I'm saying that right. But seriously, what the hell? <laughs> what the, what? Okay. I saw the graffiti, but it really didn't lead to anything besides her asking more questions. <laughs> um, message, music, web search. I can search entertainment. Hilarious. What does this give me? Is this going to give me... So, okay. No, so far, I don't think... I mean, I'm curious if, like, this, we're going to have to use it for something. I totally forgot that I had this. Notes. Which, now that I think about it, what's the... Oh, God damn. What's the number that we need to... From this? Scrap paper numbers. Oh, God. Okay, let's flip over again. Or do I need to, like, have her look at it from, like, beginning? Hmm. This must be important. Hmm. No, she this really must be anything. important. She's my next victim, 6174. Okay, so let's just put that in our phone. Let's utilize this. Uh, six, one, seven, four. Okay. Message dad. I don't need to look at my calendar right now. Okay. Just checking. Right. So. If your eyes can see. victim's body interesting we can hey his mouth is very dry from the hanging if i could only see what you saw wait the message what is he looking at okay that was a complete guess on my part <laughs> That's dumb. What did he what did he see? And that's the only thing we can look at. Okay, let's see. If I could only see what you saw. Wait. The message. What is he looking at? Okay. Oh, 
There's a niche there, if you say so. Is there something in that wall? What's this? Oh, don't tell me it's a secret compartment. Okay, it's a small, tiny compartment. <laughs> Uh, you want, okay. Yeah, so, so like, you want to do something? There's a photo inside. Oh, the victim? What do we have here? A photo? Who's leaving these? And who are you? I'm going to email a digital picture of this to my computer so I can look at it later. Okay, so that would probably be the next victim, right? I wonder who she is. Not all hangings are suicide victims. Search closer. Not all hangings are suicide victims. Hmm, what could this mean? I mean, I feel like it's pretty explicit what it's trying to suggest, but sure. Okay, so this is a previous victim, but not maybe not the next victim. Okay, I'm going to assume that she sent it to her phone already so we can leave and head back to the computer and do this uh, research. Let's head back downtown. Boston HQ. Oh, I have to drive there. My bad. Run to your desk. Otherwise, you're not gonna run if I just try to click on beforehand. No, no, Erica, you passed the desk. All right, so you said, you said that you took the picture and sent it to your phone, to your computer here. All right, I got the woman's photo here. Now let's see what I can find. Oh. Okay, so we know suicide hanging. They specifically said accident, disease, explosives. Here we go. I need something to. Yeah. All right. I should look for any details that can tell me who this woman is. Oh, so we're, okay, sorry, I'm in the wrong mm, place. Nothing. Huh? Oh, wait. Hmm, what is that on her bracelet? Her name? Sarah. All right. I should be able to use that if I want to cross-reference it with something. Is that going to be enough? Okay. Sure. This is her. The woman from that picture. Let's see. I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Same as Scott. Okay, I'm gonna assume that there was like a lot more results than just this one. <laughs> and she she trolled through all of the Sarahs. Cause Sarah's not exactly a uncommon first name, but uh Sarah Noel Goodman, cause of death, suicide by hanging. Date of incident field empty. Investigating officer Benjamin Trowler. Follow up investigation Jared Sullivan. Madison Davies. Huh. Victim was found in the master bedroom suspended from the neck. The point of hanging was an overhead light fixture. A nearby shower stool was on its side below the victim. Its position consistent with being stood on then kicked aside. Conversations with the husband, Robert, brought forth that victim was diagnosed with cyclothymic disorder approximately, approximately one year past and had been prescribed clone, clonopin. Medication bottles found in the house were all discovered empty. No children or parents. She is survived by only her husband. He was out of the country on business at the time of suicide, but remained strongly convinced of her innocence regarding the act. 
She was buried in Mount Auburn Cemetery. Follow-up investigation. Robert Goodman, the victim's husband, has been insistent enough in his convictions of Sarah's innocence that the case has been temporarily reopened. Further interrogation was made with Robert, but beyond getting a recorded testimony, there was little more to follow up on, and nothing came to light that offered any new leads. Case will continue as a closed suicide. Do they really, do they, her innocence, I just, it's a weird wording to me, but I mean, I, at the same time, I'm not sure how it's going to be worded any other way. Okay, I'm assuming that's it. I don't have any business with... Um, do we go, well, we go to the cemetery, obviously. It's the only location that we got on hand. I was about to say close by, but I really have no idea what the travel time's like. I wonder if I can find Sarah's grave here. Sarah, where are you? Kind of curious if we're gonna have to ask the lady. Sarah, where are you? Sarah Goodman, here you are. Literally right beside your brother's? It's literally right beside your brother's grave. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. There's something under those leaves. What is this? Could this have belonged to Sarah? God, she was murdered. Poor woman. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't skip cutscene. What? What cutscene? Is something supposed to happen here? Because it's saying it's talking about cutscene. <laughs> Game, please just work with me. <laughs> uh. Okay, um, I don't know what cutscene I may or may not have missed. Oh, I hate this. Come on, just let me look at it. This clearly belonged to Sarah. Did Robert leave it at her grave? photo, light gadget. Okay, there's nothing else we can look at. Anything? Nothing there. Okay. I um, better leave her be. It was embarrassing enough already. I mean, it's a bit more than embarrassing. <laughs> what you're feeling right now is probably a bit, a little bit of humiliation. I don't know. Humil okay, maybe humiliation is different to uh, Different, different feeling there, but yeah. Okay. So, <sighs> do you want to head back to the morgue purely because? Buddy? Yo! What does the gadget do again? It oh. works like an- Are we still going to be using the gadget? Interesting. See you later. Alligator! Um, what am 
I supposed to do with this? <laughs> That's my question. Okay, we know she's murdered. It doesn't really help us. My worry right now is because I kept saying skip the cutscene, which I'm assuming, I'm hoping it's just the cutscene we saw of of the of that flash of her murder, but actually, maybe I need to talk to John. It's too late. I'm heading down. We're heading down. We're gonna go down, see if there's anything in the morgue with Gallagher. <laughs> and... Anything with his desk? The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. Okay. Oh, sorry. Exit. Let's go up. I really don't think there should be anything else. Sorry, I saw this piece of paper. I'm wondering if it was anything. Okay, so let's go back to the headquarters, to the office. And, um, hmm, I guess try to figure out. Maybe. Hey, Erica. Hey, Gwen. So, how's it? Crazy! Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, it's the same thing as before. Thank you, so. Gwen. Anytime. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay, let's talk to John. Let's just see. Virtually right now, I'm like, it's the part where you're kind of getting breadcrumb trails of everything. So you're going, it feels like you're taking inch by inch of the next thing. This is not going to work with this. What is the pendant supposed to work with, though? That's the question. That won't work there. I'm really hoping I didn't miss anything in that cutscene they were talking about. Ah, here we go. No known current address. I should see if I can speak to this guy. How's there no known current address? Robert Goodman. Like, if he, if, I mean, unless he moved away from the city, C file. I don't need to request any evidence right now. Okay. Uh, C, C file ID. Okay, that was just the. One evidence form coming up. Okay. So now we head to the printer. Let's run to it and then take the piece of paper. Let's see what this gets me. Okay, hold on for a sec. I'm gonna save right now because, well, we know how this game is. Okay. And... Evidence request form. Let's give that to Gwen. I have a request for you. Yeah? 
I'm looking for some evidence on a case from a couple of years back. Well, aren't you in luck? We just moved archives from the past three years back here. Anything further back, uh, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be around. Do you have your evidence form? Here you go. All right, just one minute. There are more tapes, but this was all I could find. Okay, thank you. What type of tape am I looking at here? A microcassette. Okay, so I need to head to Gallagher then. We just, just a tape, huh? Okay. Ugh. All right. Uh, the only, yeah, the only place that has a tape is Gallagher, so we need to. <laughs> Borrow it? I don't know if she's gonna try to get us to do something for her. She made me feel pretty miffed about the Terrence thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Okay. I'm really hoping it's because she has the cassette tape that we need to use. Cassette tape. Agent Reed, what are you doing? Stop messing with my equipment. I was wondering if I could borrow your tape recorder. No, you can't. It'll only be a minute. I said no. Oh, I need to distract her. This is what this is for. Um, I'm sorry. Are you gonna... I don't need to call there right now. Okay. Terrence! Hey! Could you maybe distract Gallagher for me? I'm hoping that this is what's gonna allude to. I swear I'll come to your party if you... You know, I was wondering what the world, what in the world does M stand for, and I guess they put M for morgue. Because usually M is like, I guess L would be lobby, M would be the Buddy? morgue. Buddy? Yo! Okay. Yes, thank you. I could use your help with Galaga. Yes. What do you want me to do? You said your new hobby is to get on Galaga's nerves. Can I see you in action? That would make my day. Wait two minutes, and then meet me at the morgue. Okay, yes. Ah. Hello, Dr. Cadaver. Anything up? Bulby, what a surprise. I was just thinking about you. My pet cockroach just died, and I wanted you to run an autopsy. Oh, my lord. Please, it's very important. I'm very sentimental. Bulby, you should go back to your hole upstairs before I make you part of my job. Uh, I'm sure I could liven things up around here. I'm past counting to ten. That's awesome. It would be awesome if you let me go back to my work. All right, all right, Gally. I'll get out of your hair. Thank you. I just want to see how the, the rest of this conversation goes out. Wait, let me oh join Oh, my lord. Unbelievable. No, don't leave without me. Just closes, he disappears. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Terrence. But first, let me listen to this evidence. <laughs> uh, okay, let's combine the tape recorder. All right, this. plugged in. All right, let's have a listen. Can I? Oh, here we go. It's down here. October 12th, 2008. Recordings of case 342980, Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman. Can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My job involves a lot of travel. 
Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it, especially after we moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No, Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Where are you going with this? Please answer the question. Yes, Sarah was on antidepressants, but she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> no, inside joke. I handed her a note. Well, the note said... Damn. Eh? What? No. Excuse what me. What would I need to reenact that time? Okay, well, we have a locket. Necklace. Maybe her photo? Okay. Uh, just... Can we say anything with Terrence? At least say thank you. Say thank you, Sarah. Not Sarah. Buddy? Erica. Yo! And nothing. See you later. Alligator. Goodbye. Okay. Um, so is a new, I'm going to assume a new, possibly a new, um, place to look at. Downtown crime scene. Hmm. Where'd they say again? Can I have a listen to this again? In this October 12th, 2008, recordings of case 342980, Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My okay. job involves okay. a lot of travel. Did number. your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it, especially after we moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No, Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Where are you going with this? Please answer the question. Yes, Sarah was on antidepressants, but she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> no, inside joke. I handed her a note. And the note said... Damn. Okay. What would I need to reenact that time? Okay. Um, so we have a cell phone that we can look at a calendar. I don't need to look at my calendar right now. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting. I, I, keep, I keep clicking on it, expecting it just to head to the location, but you have to like click drive. That was... This is not going to work with this. Just seeing, I want to know, see if there is a way. Okay, evidence. Sorry, case database. Look at the Sarah Goodman case. There's no, there's no date. <laughs> Date of incident. What is right? It's the field was empty. Why? Jared Sullivan? All of you. Why?
Um, contacts. Wait, Jared. We do have- wait, J Jared as in guy who likes Erica, Jared? Sully! Hi! You are... Hey, Sully. So, you change your mind about lunch? No. I need to ask you something. What is it? I found your name on a case and I need details. You remember anything about Sarah Goodman? How can I forget? That was my first case, when McAdams was still in charge. I took the case with Davies. Why did the FBI take the case? Because of the husband. He refused to believe it was a suicide. He had some important and powerful friends, and we got pulled into it. Okay, that's actually one of the things I was wondering about. Why would the FBI be involved? But that's why. How did it go down? Uh, the husband had left for a business trip. He was always abroad. When he came back this time, he found his wife hanging in their condo and immediately notified the police. How did the case get handed off to the FBI? The detective on the case immediately ruled it a suicide. The husband made some calls and before you know it, Davies and I were driving to the scene. So you were there at the crime scene? Yeah, it was wicked awful. The woman had been dead for a while. Nothing like that for your first real case. Not that it was much of a case, or so Davies thought. So the husband, this Robert Goodman, he was cleared of all charges? He was abroad on a business trip. We checked and his story cleared. He was very disturbed. Nobody's that good an actor. Do you know where I can find him now? Uh, as it happens, yeah. I saw him not long ago. He's, uh, he's on the streets. He is? Yeah, here's the saddest part of the story. He never gave up on the case. He obsessed over it, quit his job, spent all of his money, lost his home, and it drove him mad. I dealt with him a lot of times when he would come here to beg for us to reopen the case, saying he had new proof. So that's who that was. I remember seeing him a few times, yeah. Did you ever look at this new evidence? Briefly, he went on about the possibility of someone having done this to others, but Davy said we'd be wasting our time, and really, there was nothing concrete. As for where you can find him, he hangs out around Shafter Avenue in Dorchester. I'll send the exact location to your phone. Okay, the, the audio quality weirdly changed in the middle of that sentence. Who closed the case? Davies. We did our due research, interrogated Robert Goodman, but there was nothing pointing at murder. We talked to several family members who knew Goodman's wife, they had moved to the city recently from some suburb in California because of the husband's work. What did the relatives say? The, the victim was on antidepressants. They'd been living here for a little less than a year and she wasn't coping well with the move. It all pointed to suicide. So, uh, what's your interest? I need to look at a couple of things before I can say. I may need your help on this. Anything you need, Erica. Thank you, Jared. See you later, Sully. Yeah. Okay. So, we have a location on Robert Robert Goodman. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Okay. Where? Oh, it's not here. Robert's Alley, near the crime scene. Okay, anything else I can look at? Exit, exit, just, just him, huh? Hello, I I'm looking for Robert Goodman. Do you know where I can find him? Who's looking for him? Okay. Uh, you want us to flash our ID badge? I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Can you point me to Robert Goodman? That would be me, Agent. What do you want? You were married to Sarah Goodman, is that correct? What about Sarah? I'm conducting an investigation on her death, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. I was wondering if you can come with me to the station. I'm sorry, but... It's a part of my past I'd rather not relive. 
It would really help if you came to the office with me. No can do. I am fine where I am right now. Okay. How could I convince him? Is this Sarah? Oh, Sarah. Yes, this is her. I don't remember when we took this picture. Mr. Goodman, I know this is difficult for you. I've read your file. I know what happened. There's new information on this case. I believe we may be dealing with a killer. There are others out there whose lives could depend on your help. Will you please come with me? I'll come with you, Agent Reed. But I'm not sure I can be of any help. Okay. He's a, he's a very sad man. <laughs> okay, he's gonna be in the uh, interrogation. Okay, Robert is in the interrogation room. I need to tell John. All right. Fortunately, does he? Fortunately, does he like fit the profile that we have of the killer at the moment? McCoy? Red? Uh, okay, there's a lot. I found something really interesting. Yeah? Whoever did this left clues behind that are pointing to another old case. Go on. What? Well, here's the thing. This other case? It was a hanging too. But it was closed as a suicide. Apparently the husband insisted it was a murder. What do you think? I need to gather more info. Oh, Keep know. me posted. We know, we know, no. We know, we know. How's the case going? It's going. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. How's the case no, going? No, no! Damn. Well, you know what. <laughs> I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right, let's go. I'll watch from outside. I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day? Nah, I think you should go, McCoy. This is your case now. So who do you want, Erica? Oh, what? I mean... Come with me, Sully. I don't know if it's a good rapport or not, but it's a rapport. I want to do this on my own. I'll be right here. Interesting. Um, so what in the world are we supposed to be questioning him about? Sully? Erica? Okay, I just want to see if there's Thank any you, Jared. more conversation. Anything you but... need, Erica. Hmm. Okay. Sully, I need to head out to do something. Wait, what? What about Robert? I'll be back before anyone notices. Wait, what? Trust me on this one. That's not... I thought exit was to go into the room. No! I'm back. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. I need to get into the room for that. Yeah? Oh, okay. This is an interesting way to do that. <laughs> Joking, I'm actually here to do my job. Oh my god. All right, Mr. Goodman? I'm only here because of what you showed me. I know. And I wouldn't have brought you here if this wasn't important. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not comfortable. How can I make you feel better? I'm a little hungry. Okay. Tuna sandwich it is. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Yeah, I gotta get you your sandwich. I got a sandwich for you. I'll be back. All right. Oh wait, no, no, I should press exit. No! <laughs> I'm doing this the long way. Okay, Erica, yes, come back. And then goodbye! <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to the station. Okay, so he is hungry. 
And do you want me? Is that your only request? If you give a list, I can get all your items for you and then you'll be comfortable. Then we can get this done and over with. Okay, let's grab the sandwich. Uh, well, maybe it'll help. Don't. You, the, you're. It's gonna help in the investigation. Don't complain about it. Okay. Robert? I can imagine you're gonna have another request. Alright, alright, we need to get into the room first. My bad. Uh, wait, hold on. Just bring the sandwich out right now. The egg sandwich. Here go. I need to get closer. What? Okay. One, you didn't need to say it that seriously. <laughs> Two, it's just an egg sandwich. Just pass it to the man. You I'm not that hungry. Something lighter, maybe. Oh my god! Okay, fine. Uh... Do we have anything else? No, not really. Okay. Well... Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Yeah, you... Don't... Don't... I know you didn't say that sniddly, but it, it's... It's... I can just imagine it. I can imagine it. So the egg sandwich is too heavy. Are we gonna... Chips? Are we getting a bag of chips? What is this? Honestly. And there's nothing... There's nowhere else that we can go to get something. It has to be the vending machine, right? Because there's nothing... There's nothing else. What am I doing with this egg sandwich? Now I'm just carrying it around with me. I need some money for it. Do you not carry your wallet on you? Yeah, you just don't have a wallet. Erica's desk. Did I need to talk to... McCoy? Red? They maybe need to talk to Sully? I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. You want this egg sandwich? That won't work there. Okay, I'm just like, listen, I don't want to be carrying this egg sandwich with me. I thought it was going to be useful, that's why I picked it up, but no. So, Erica, you want to tell me where you keep your wallet? Like, you don't have any money. I don't know. I know I have her necklace, but I don't know if that's going to make him feel better. Actually. Hey. Maybe I should just go. Maybe we should just head there. Head up. I can ask Sully about where to get some grub for Robert here. Sully? Erica? The guy isn't cooperating. Any ideas? He was always cooperative with us. But if he got hungry, he would get cranky. I was always fetching him something. <sighs> nice. Now I'm dealing with a three-year-old. Don't complain. Food is easy. Okay. Thank you, Jared. Anything you need, Erica. That didn't help. I was hoping... I... Uh... I was hoping he, like, he'll say, like, oh, this is his favorite place to eat. And then, I mean, what else is there? Who am I scrounging money off of? That's the question. I want to, I want to take something hey, from Erica. the machine, hey. but... Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. That seems to be a non-option at the moment. Terrence? Would Terrence have anything? Don't imagine Gallagher would. Why is this... <laughs> Why 
Why is this the hardest thing I'm coming across in this game so far? <laughs> it should not be this way. Um, okay, maybe maybe there's something outside that I didn't notice. Um, the morgue? You know what, in the end, if someone can, like, uh, just take, take this egg sandwich from me. Hey, Terrence, you know any of the good places I can get someone food from? Because apparently this guy is... You wanna lend me some Buddy? money? Yo! This Erica apparently doesn't carry money on her by her... No, you just have the gadget. See you later. Alligator! Just have the gadget. Okay. I can't imagine Gallagher having anything. Post office. What the hell is the post office going to bring me? That's gone. <laughs> Donuts. Donut box. Oh my god, don't tell me. I'm sorry. The egg sandwich is too heavy, but not the donut? Can I take one? Do me a favor, child, and take all of them. They're going to go to waste, and I hate throwing food away. Do you always have donuts for your customers? They used to love them, been doing it for years. But now, they're not as popular anymore. Makes me sad. Okay. A box of donuts. That's, uh, that was the food. All right, then. I, I still don't understand. Apparently, the egg sandwich is too heavy, but a box of donuts is going to be A-OK. -okay. Maybe my problem is, like, the last donut I ate was in Vancouver. There is a place at Carter's. But really good doing the donuts, but super heavy. <laughs> like, really heavy. Okay. I got you a box of donuts. Now, are you going to make another request? Am I going to have to steal your wife's locket, which, by the way, I already took, so don't, uh, don't come at me. All right, I have to, I have to approach him, otherwise she's like, I have to get closer. <laughs> okay, now, I got a box of donuts. Well, this says I don't have a reason to do that now. What? This is not going to work with this. Are you serious? I don't have a reason to do that now. Are these donuts for John? Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. I just want to look at you in the eyes, stare at you, stare at your beautiful face before I have to go deliver this food somewhere else, apparently. Okay, so it wasn't the donuts. Does, do I give, so I'm thinking I give the box of donuts to John and he gives me his healthy food item. He wanted donuts. By the way, John, I still have your lighter. Do you want it back? I'm done with it. I don't need to train anymore. My training's done. Erica, just give him back his lighter. Okay. I don't have a reason to do that now. Oh my god, I'm just... What? 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 <laughs> oh, I don't understand. <laughs> what? Margo's desk, Abbott's desk. Okay. Oh, I have to click I. Oh man, those look good. I'm confused.
Just trying to see if there's anything else I can interact with. Okay. Did I not click the right thing? Why am I getting stalled on food of all things? No, you don't want the egg sandwich. Hey, do you know if a box of donuts is gonna work on him? Okay, I just wanna check again to make sure whether or not All right. They changed this table recently. Great, thanks. I need to get closer. Sasamok, we're talking again. I don't have a reason to do that now. So, he won't take the sandwich. I'm not that hungry. Something lighter, maybe. If you want someone to help you, Agent, it helps to be kind. Okay, now you're mocking me. Robert, please stay here. <laughs> now I have to get something me. done. <laughs> Don't take long. What food does he want? I literally... Egg sandwich is too much. I grabbed a box of donuts. Now I just have it on me for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess... Uh, who, who can I head to? You just say to give him food, Sully? which... Erica? Again, does he have a favorite food? Thank you, Jared. Anything you... Because apparently this none of this is working. Um... I don't know. Let's, let's uh, go around town, I guess. The post office? What the hell is going to be at the post office? The cemetery? Let's just go back there. I don't know where else I can... What else I can do with this. Headstone, headstone, Sarah's grave. Sarah Goodman. A loving wife, a life gone too soon. Yeah. That's all we can look at now. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Okay, let's just exit. There's nothing here, okay. I just, at this point, I need to rural out every single area because none of this is working. The antique shop already did it. Rose, do you want an egg sandwich? <laughs> I, I, I'm at my wit's end. <laughs> the game froze. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well then. That makes things interesting. Uh of all the times the game to freeze too. Hopefully I didn't I mean I don't think I saved when I saved it wasn't too far back anyway. Um, okay, yeah, so... I'm trying to think right now. It's... So, from what I can say right now, because I don't want to have to be doing a past, like, two, uh, S, A, or S, B, then S, C. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I, before I can say, I guess the sets are going to be particularly short for this live stream series that I've got going Saturday because this freezing thing keeps happening. And there's there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I don't know why it happens. It just happens. It's very annoying. And unfortunately right now, I'm stuck on this uh, food fiasco. So, and yeah, I don't want to come back just to try to figure out to go to every single crime scene, every single place, just to try to find out where I can get more food. So I'm going to, uh, set two is going to end here. Set two B is going to end here specifically. 
And then we'll continue on with next sets. I'm going to, in the meantime, have to make sure that I've um, redo everything I've done and save. Other than that, <laughs> thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. This game, I... I uh, uh. anyway until next time guys see ya